Are you a startup planning to start a new retail store? Or are you into e-commerce and wish to open a retail store? Or are you already into retail and looking to open another store? In all the above scenarios, this video is for you. Hello everyone, myself Dr. Rupal Agarwal from your retail coach. We are retail and e-commerce management consultants and today we are going to discuss 6 steps to start a retail store. If you are a retailer who wants to keep updated with the latest market insights, do click on the subscribe button to get notified each time we release a new video. The first step, business plan. When it comes to starting a new store, first start with your homework to assess the business viability. Two major factors leading to financial failure of retail businesses is space rentals and inventory mismanagement. Could be overstocking or piling up of dead stock. Business plan shall help you decide your break-even sales for the fixed and recurring expenses your store has. Based on the break-even sales, you must reverse calculate how many walk-ins would be required as per your average billing value. For example, if your expenses are 50,000 per month and your margins are 20%, your break-even sales becomes 250,000. Now if your average ticket size is 1,000, you know that you would need at least 250 customers in a month which means an average of 10 customers to be converted daily. Now if your conversion is 50%, you would need at least 20 walk-ins daily. So now you have an idea on your financial roadmap. Now how would you be able to get these walk-ins? Keep watching the video until the end. The second step, location validation. Once you have shortlisted a location, the next step is to check the feasibility of walk-ins at the store. Whether your store is on a high street or a shopping mall or even if it's a standalone store, you can assess this. Do you have competitors selling similar products close to your shortlisted location? Or do you have non-competitive but complementary product stores around? Complementary categories could be jewelry, cosmetics, apparel, etc. Since how long are these stores into existence? Once you locate your nearest competitor or nearest complementary store, count the number of people walking into these neighboring stores during various times of the day, during weekend as well as weekday. This is difficult exercise but can pay off if done accurately. You need to check how far or near is the parking provision from your location. Do you have any signature brands nearby? There is famous brands with high walk-ins. All the above factors shall help you assess the organic walk-ins you can attract without any marketing efforts. If your store location is deserted with low walk-ins, then you know that you would need significant marketing efforts to attract walk-ins. This will help you gauge approximate number of walk-ins which you can correlate with your average daily walk-ins expected as for the business plan. Shortlisting the location also involves other areas of assessment like existing infrastructure available, build-up budget, agreement terms, etc. If you need more details on this, then do comment below. We shall try to release a separate video on this. Third step, sales and operations plan. This includes the following. Which retail point of sale and ERP to be used to manage your inventory and sales? How many employees to recruit and their roles? How to plan your supply chain right from sourcing, warehousing and delivery to the stores? How will you get walk-ins to your store? How much would you spend on each channel of marketing like social media, print media, billboards, radio ads, etc. Step 4. Store layout. Once you finalize the store, the next step is to design the store layout. There are two types of layouts, functional layout and interior design and civil layout. Functional layout is designed by a retail expert which defines the customer entry and exit points, checkout locations, planogram of the store, operational area, warehouse area, staff utility area and so on. Functional layout shall also help you reduce pilferage, define security checkpoints and crowd management techniques during high rush hours within the store and at the checkout stations. Interior layout is designed by an interior designer or an architect to give the desired look and feel as per your brand positioning. Step 5. Standard Operating Procedures Have you experienced the uniformity in the experience at retail chain store brands when you visit any of their stores? This is possible only because of SOPs. SOPs are not just for the bigger players but for any scale retailer as you're dealing directly with the end consumers. SOPs shall act as guiding force for the store staff to ensure the store operations are seamless and customer happiness ratio is at the highest level. SOPs across various functions shall help you to manage inventory, reduce errors, implement softwares to its best capacity, increase sales and reduce leakages across various areas like inventory, cash collection, compliances, etc. Step number 6. Get started. Time to start working towards building your store, procuring stocks and making the marketing plan for store launch and the initial 6 months. The tag for this video is Retail Healthometer. 
Click on the link below and fill up the questionnaire to know your readiness score to start a retail store. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your time.